It's just not necessary to eat animal products. I can eat all kinds of delicious foods. For a few nutrients, I take an occasional supplement just to make sure I'm healthy. Like most people in the Western world, I don't eat cats, dogs, horses, or dolphins, and I don't see much of a distinction between these animals and pigs, cows, fish, or chickens. All of them feel pain, like I do, and I don't want them to suffer just so I can enjoy a meal. Some traditional dishes are made from animals, but cultures evolve, and the fact that something's been done a certain way for a long time isn't a reason to keep doing it. I cook vegan holiday meals and make vegan versions of the ethnic foods I grew up eating. Factory farms produce billions of tons of toxic waste every year, which poison waterways, pollute soil, and lead to salmonella and E. coli outbreaks. Animal agriculture is responsible for more than half of humanity's total greenhouse gas emissions, as well as severe deforestation, land degradation, and overfishing. I don't use dairy because there are so many alternatives, and I don't need or want to drink another species' breast milk. When a dairy cow's milk production declines, she's slaughtered. In order to produce milk, cows must give birth, so they're repeatedly forced to bear offspring. Male calves born to dairy cows are taken away from their mothers almost immediately after birth and usually become veal or beef. They don't eat eggs because every year, millions of male chicks are ground up alive or discarded in dumpsters. Most egg-laying hens, even on free-range farms, live in poor conditions and are slaughtered as soon as their egg production starts slowing down. I don't buy meat from humane farms because even though these animals lead less miserable lives than their factory farm counterparts, they still suffer horrifying early deaths. Plus, a system of small-scale farming would only be sustainable if a tiny portion of the population ate meat. Studies indicate that vegans have lower risk of developing heart disease, cancer, stroke, obesity, cataracts, and metabolic syndrome. All this, in a nutshell, is why I'm veg.